Uh, we have some new data tonight for you. The number of car thefts in the city of Cleveland, listen to this, is up about 92% compared to last year. We're talking about more than 3,000 cars stolen in grand theft motor vehicle incidents since the start of this year, 2023, up until last Saturday. That was the last day of the calculation thus far. It's a problem obviously impacting so many people in Northeast Ohio. And I want to tell you tonight about a woman in Brooklyn. She still doesn't have a car. A week after it was stolen out of a parking lot, it was while she was buying groceries. But that was just the start of her nightmare. Our Isabel Lawrence has her story for us. We're just going to have an easy night. We're going to go to the store. We're going to get some mozzarella sticks, pizza rolls. It was shaping up to be a cozy night in for Megan Malcolm and her fiance last Friday. Run to Giant Eagle for some snacks, then settle in for a movie in their Brooklyn home. But out in the grocery store parking lot, it slowly just kind of like hit us. Like, my car's not here. Her 2022 Kia Sportage stolen. They filed a police report only to realize Malcolm's house keys, her fiance's keys to his 2022 Kia Forte, and documents from a doctor's visit they had just come from with their address listed were all in her car. It's just devastating. Fast forward to 1.30 Saturday morning. I mean, we didn't even hear these guys come down our driveway, open our gate, anything. Um, we just heard the car kind of just fly down the driveway. and. My fiance's car was gone. Inside that car, bags of baby supplies for the son Malcolm and her fiance are expecting in December. We've never felt unsafe in our house before, and now it's just, you know, when are they going to come back? Thanks to a tile tracker, police found her fiance's car, but Malcolm's is still missing. They've changed their locks, installed cameras, and are looking into other safety measures. Now she has a warning for others. Just making sure you take those extra steps every day is, is all I can really recommend because I know that's what we're doing now. I did reach out to Brooklyn police who sent me the police reports but did not answer my interview requests. Cleveland police suggest parking in well-lit areas, not leaving valuables in plain sight, locking up your car, of course, and getting a steering wheel lock. In the newsroom, Isabel Lawrence, 3 News.